about you, but milk is my favorite thing to drink. I also love eating cheese, yogurt, and ice cream. So today, I'm at a dairy farm in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Let's go look at some cows. Now I'm with the owner of Channy's Dairy Barn, Mr. Carl Channy. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Could you tell me the history behind your farm? Sure. We're very fortunate. I'm fourth generation. Our kids are fifth generation, and our grandkids now will be sixth generation. My great-great-grandfather started back in 1888 is when they bought this property. In 1940, my father started milking cows. He started with two cows, and he started milking them by hand. And I think today, Dad would be very he would be proud. This is Dory Baker, who's gonna tell us a little about milking cows. Hi, Dory. Hi, Kylie. What is it like working on a dairy farm? It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of hard work. So the fun part is watching all of the babies grow up and thrive. I was born and raised on a dairy, and it's just been in my blood since the very beginning. I was your age, milking cows. Um, it was something that I never questioned that I loved and wanted to do for the rest of my life. So I'm thankful to have the opportunity to do it every day. How do cows make milk? So for a cow to produce milk, she'll be about two years of age and she'll have to have a baby first. Dairy cows specifically, they produce a lot more milk than a beef cow does. So beef cows produce only enough milk to feed their babies. Our dairy cows in Jersey specifically are producing about about eight gallons of milk a day, and their babies will only consume about a gallon to two gallons of milk a day. So lots of extra to go around. How many times do the cows get milked? So some farms milk their cows twice a day. Here we have a robotic milking system, and it milks our cows almost four times a day, voluntarily. So it gives us a little bit more time. Before, we'd only milk them twice a day because that's all we had time for. So now with the robot, there's more opportunity and more time for the cows to go through and to get milked. What kind of cows do you have? We here at Cheney's have Jersey cows. So we've been a registered Jersey herd since 1940, but there's actually six different breeds of dairy cows. Is all the milk the same? It is, so it all is wholesome and it is all the color white. My brown cows do not produce brown milk, chocolate milk. <laughs> Farley, you're gonna go viral. Everyone, give a like on Farley. Hi Elizabeth, could you tell us where the milk goes after it leaves the cow? Basically, after it leaves the cow, the milk will go into a large bulk tank where it will be refrigerated. So once it's refrigerated, it's gonna be piped over to our plant, our milk plant. So whenever it's piped over, it's gonna go through a process of pasteurization and homogenization to where it's heated up and then cooled back down to help kill any bacteria that might be in the milk. And then it'll allow us to bottle it or create a, a lot of different products with, with the milk. What kind of products are you going to make with the milk? First and foremost, the most important thing is that we want to make ice cream mix that's going to allow us to make the ice cream that we use up at Cheney's Dairy Barn. So then we'll, we will actually have the milk from our cows that are going to go into the ice cream that you can eat up at Cheney's Dairy Barn. And then we're also going to do some other products uh, such as possibly uh, fluid milk, yogurt, cheese, uh, and sour cream, buttermilks, a lot of different things that, that uh, come from dairy. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow Woo! who? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna eat some ice cream. I'll have wound out brownie cow. Good day. <laughs> really good day. Kentucky has so many wonderful farmers who are working hard to create the food we enjoy. So next time you see a hardworking farmer, please tell them thank you.